Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from ICM and it comes in 130 second scale. It should be an interesting kit for those who would like to copy the Soviet fighter in 130 second scale. As you can see here we have a special release, it's a Normandy Nimen and it copies plane of Marcel Lefebvre and we have it as a commercial sample so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you will see in this video review. So first of all I have to know that the box is quite large here is comparison with my hand so it's uh, I would say typical size for 130 second scale from ICM we have also the kit number here is 32092 and on the side you'll find a short information note as well as the uh, history note for the real aircraft so we have 171 parts for assembly of the aircraft and 10 parts for assembly of the pilot figure which you saw on the box art while on the opposite side you'll find one and only marking option I guess which is included here but obviously nobody stops you from choosing something different from Normandy Nimin I guess uh, there are some aftermarket sets available which will help you replicate some other aircraft from this squad so it's up to you whether you would like to do so and now just give me a second I will cut through this uh, clear tape and we will start checking everything together this is a typical ICM packaging, so that's how you know if the box was opened or not. Of course, it takes a bit of time to open it, but as a result, you can be sure that the box was not tampered before you. So, as you can see, we have this flexible top cover. Then inside we have this sturdy white cardboard box, which is actually providing protection to all the parts and as for the parts as you can see they are packed into the same plastic bag so it's a resealable plastic bag you can use it later for let's say storing some parts or maybe just as a handy addition for some scratch building or leftover parts so now I'm opening it and we will take a closer look together just give me a second okay so what do we have here? First of all, we are going to start with wing parts. So in case you saw the Yak-9 kit review on our YouTube channel, you should be familiar with this plastic because it's exactly the same parts. And as you can see here, we have, I would say, typical wing design for uh, aircraft kit. Doesn't matter which scale you will pick. Note that flaps are pre-molded. And for this scale, I would recommend to find some aftermarket so that it will be more interesting with dropped flaps. But we have aileron separate. We also here have here uh, uh, panel lines, but there are not a lot of them on this aircraft as you remember. And if I flip it over here inside, we have also some minor elements for the main wheel wells. Also guiding pins here and there, so it will be quite easy to align everything together. Even though these parts are quite large. Next, we continue with the pilot figurine. So I guess this one is exclusive for today's set and it won't be sold separately. So in case you would like to get it, that's the only way for you to have it in your collection. So it's a typical 130 second scale figurine from ICM and it means it's really nicely molded and shaped or sculpted. As you can see all these wrinkles look convincing. And if I flip it over you can also notice that the torso should be assembled out of two halves. We do not have any guiding elements here so pay attention to this. And of course be careful while joining all this stuff together because in some areas you might even need to uh, make the overall attachment a bit more smooth so that it will look natural. Next we continue with a bigger plastic sprue so here I have to zoom back and here you can see that we have mix of parts for example here we have exhaust stacks but we also have some cockpit parts and also as far as you can see we have some parts for the engine because this kit actually includes the power plant which can be exposed on your model and we will see it a bit later when we will be checking other sprues but now I would like to show you this one so here we have fuselage halves and you can see how the engine will be actually shown on the model so we have the top cover molded separately it is provided here but we also have this special let's say cage which is enclosing the engine and it will be needed for the open version we also have some cockpit parts here we have nice fabric surface in the tail so as you can see all these wrinkles look quite convincing it might be also a good idea to bring it out with help of shading and if i flip it over inside there are not that many features but do not be worried because cockpit will be added separately that's why it looks a bit plain here but we have guiding elements which is handy because these parts are quite large and 
it's always good to have something what will help you with overall alignment. Next we continue with the sprue D. So here we have the cockpit frames and this should actually give you an idea why they're molded separately as you can see these are thin one piece frames and such design is actually good because it will give you a right alignment out of the box you don't have to deal with the separate struts the only thing which you have to do is to install them into the uh, fuselage house and you'll be good to go and if you flip it over here inside you can see that some parts should be glued out of two house but of course we have guiding elements so again it should be easy to get them together and not be worried about any alignment issues next i'm opening another plastic bag so just give me a second here we have clear parts so these are the canopy parts obviously and here we have a possibility to open the canopy because as you can see we have separate canopy sections and just like in the previous releases from ICM I hope this one includes the masks templates so it will be easier to mask such parts because otherwise it might be a bit problematic or of course you can resort to the aftermarket set from Edward which will be pre-cut ready to be used and it will actually allow you to focus on something different both approaches are fine it's still better than having nothing in the assembly manual next we have here the last gray plastic sprue so we have tail surfaces we have also air intake which is molded as a single piece part the same can be said about this propeller hub and propeller itself we also have the fuselage sections as you can see for example this is the bottom tail panel and it comes as a one piece part which will be installed from below we have landing gear wheels which look fine but of course you can get a resin aftermarket with even more features and of course the engine in my opinion this is really cool to see it included here and if you flip it over inside you'll find guiding elements even on the engine parts so this is quite thought well thought design which should be a pleasure to work with next we continue with the decal sheet which is hidden in the assembly manual so as you remember we have only one marking option so here is the decal sheet we also have some decals for the cockpit but there are not that many of them that's why i was saying that it might be worth getting the aftermarket p from edward which will bring more features to your model both inside and outside next we continue with assembly manual so here i am closing the lenses so that you won't be blinded by the white color and here we have a short history note and technical specifications on the first page next we continue with the parts map and then assembly process starts so straight away you are working with the cockpit as you can see a lot of stuff being attached together it's interesting that ICM actually copies all these control sticks with help of plastic parts because usually we are seeing these elements copied with the help of the P parts next we continue with the side consoles for the cockpit so all these subframings are being installed note that the pilot seat is assembled out of several parts and again i would recommend to get some seat belts for it because it will be clearly visible through such large canopy next we continue with the fuselage assembly so as you can see here we have the lower panel or chin panel getting installed into place then we work on the engine and also cannon parts because cannon will be actually installed in the v of the engine so you can choose whether you would like to have open or closed cooling and as far as you can see it will define which parts will be chosen for the top section of the engine and how detailed it will be because obviously there is no sense in adding more features to the engine if it will be hidden inside next we continue with more cockpit parts so here we decide also whether we would like to open or close the canopy even though manufacturer does not show such possibility it shows just the closed version as far as you can see here we work on the landing gear wheel wells we also install landing gear doors here we assemble our top wing halves and also wing mechanization and then attach it together with the fuselage then tail surfaces rudder and as you can see rudder is also assembled out of two halves and here you can see landing gear wheels legs 
propeller. Here is the one and only marking option. And on the last page we have the marking guide, let's say, for the pilot. So, this whole kit should be already available. You can get it in any good model shop, for example, in Modelimax. And of course, I'll be happy to hear your opinion about such a list. Do not forget to write it here in the comment section below. If you like this video, press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye.